comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it's white, it goes with everything. It's comfy, it's soft. Yeah, they're comfortable. They're comfortable? It's so comfy. Something comfortable you wear every day and it's just something easy you can grab. A t-shirt is fashion? Yeah, it's clean and it yeah, fits good. Simple. They're so cheap to get. It looks normal, I guess. It's appropriate. Sure. It's easy. And you can mix them and match them, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. The t-shirt is everything a guy is. I mean, it's totally cool. It's totally relaxing. A t-shirt is just something comfortable that I wear that I don't have to think of how it looks on me or how it sits on me. It's just something I put on and go. A lifestyle. Why do you say lifestyle? Because it's California. It's what we are. A t-shirt, flip-flops, pair of shorts. 10 or 15, maybe 15 or 20 if I'm honest, you know, including the ones I need to get rid of. 20. Undershirts are a lot, like, I need 10, 15. And graphic tees, like, like 20, like I like tees. Um, probably no more than two dozen. 30? 30 shirts, yeah. Well, is that the thing that you probably have most? Yeah, the most. Probably, like, maybe 40, but I don't use half of them, <laughs> but yeah. So some of them are just the reject ones? That yeah, kind of and that I've kept for a while. So. Why do you still keep them? Memories, I guess. <laughs> like 50. Maybe 100 t-shirts. I have a lot of clothes. I own a lot of clothes. Um, I could probably go like two months without wearing the same shirt. 200, 250. How many t-shirts? I'm saying 347. Really? Yeah. I own hundreds because I work on political campaigns. So every single rally, every event is documented on a t-shirt. Why do you think they try to commemorate events with t-shirts? T-shirts are the best form of advertisement. You can wear them to whatever and people read them. Five dollars probably. My maximum I would spend on a t-shirt is ten to twelve dollars if I'm on vacation and um, I really wanted a souvenir and they wouldn't bargain down. <laughs> Most, probably 15. Not too much, no more than like $20 maybe. Most I'll ever pay probably like 25 bucks or 20, cause I mean, I might end up taking it off anyway, so why waste so much money, you know? <laughs> you know, it depends on the message. If it's like a fun quote, if it's like, you know, a Star Wars t-shirt, <laughs> if it's Harry Potter, I'm willing to put down like a good like 25, 30 bucks. But if it's like an Obama t-shirt, I have 400. Usually not more than $30. I don't spend that much money on shirts, maybe like 40 bucks, but other than that. Depends what brand it is. What's the most you'll ever spend for what brand? I don't know, like a hundred bucks or something. I don't think you should spend that much on a t-shirt. I mean, just because it's like material. I mean, you shouldn't spend that much. It's like really comfortable and it's not like anything fancy. So I don't think it should cost that much. Um, just because it has a, a name of a store or name of a brand printed on it doesn't make it any, it wasn't any more expensive to print, you know? I caught one of those t-shirts at the ball game where they shoot it out of the cannon and you go up and I grabbed it. I just jumped like that and I got it. Uh, I got a lot of them for free, yes. Yeah, a lot of people just give them away. Well, have you ever done anything to specifically get a free t-shirt? I gave blood and I got t-shirts. Uh, did a marathon and I got t-shirts. Uh, just going into a store sometimes I got a t-shirt. Different little things. For like signing up for credit cards or with their toss you out at games or... When I was in college, I got a lot of free t-shirts from the college I was I went to. Is the t-shirt incentive for you to actually do something like sign up for a credit card? Uh, I guess it depends on the t-shirt. I donated blood and they gave me a t-shirt. I, I, I joined a contest just to get a t-shirt and I had to eat a burger just to get a t-shirt. I used to be work in IT, like computers, and so you can get all kind of free t-shirts, especially if you go to like conventions and vendor short shows, and they're always like, these ginormous things for extra large and extra extra large guys and I got Abercrombie t-shirts I got lots of fraternity t-shirts sick up t-shirts lots of uh, plain t-shirts undershirts that kind of stuff